Let's learn decoding short vowels versus long vowels. When we are reading, we decode or work to figure out what each word is. When we come to a word we don't know yet, we say the sounds of the word and then put the sounds together to read the word. But sometimes letters say more than one sound, and that makes things a little tricky. I bet you know the short vowels, but let's review them real quick. A says a, like in apple. We'll add a symbol called a brev to the top to show it's short. E says e, like in egg. I says i, like in igloo. O says a, uh, like in octopus. And U says a, uh, like in umbrella. But vowels make a long sound too. A can also say a, like in cake. We'll add a symbol called a macron to the top to show it's long. E can say e, like in tree. I can say I, like in bike. O can say O, like in home. And U can say U, like in mule. Vowels can say the schwa sound too, but that's for another video. So when we go to read a word, we don't know if the vowel is saying its short sound or its long sound. Is this head or heed? Is this chassing or chasing? Is this one thraw or throw? Is this bread or breed? So knowing the six syllable types will help you. Check out links to those videos below. And there are some other clues to help you know if a vowel is short or long. Let's look at some of the clues. A word might have a short vowel if it ends in double letters, like in pass. A vowel might be short if a vowel is all by itself between consonants, like here in flash. A vowel also might be short if it ends in a CK. The vowel is probably short, like in stack. A vowel might be short if it ends in double letters with LE at the end of the word, like in rattle. And a vowel might be short if a word ends in TCH, like in batch. Did you already know some of those clues? If you didn't or you're still learning, no problem. I'll show you what to do later in this video. These clues help you much of the time, but of course there are always exceptions. There are also some clues that tell us if a vowel might be long. A vowel might be long if a word ends in an E, like in came. That E can be magic and make the other vowel say its name. A vowel might be long if you see a word with two vowels together. The first vowel often says its long sound or its name. A vowel might be long if a word ends in one consonant and then LE. There's a good chance that that has a long vowel. And a vowel might be long if you see a vowel followed by a W or a Y. W and Y often act as vowels, where it's like two vowels together. And that makes this word own. Now, all these are just some of the clues, and they're helpful, but it's hard to remember all of them. So as you are learning and remembering them, it can help to try both vowel sounds when you come to a word that you don't know. Let's practice this together. Hmm, let's look at this word. What clues do you see? I see TCH. TCH means the vowel A is probably short. So it would be huh, atch, hatch. Hmm, looking for clues here and I'm just not sure if that C is supposed to be with the A to make it A-C in a closed syllable or if the A is supposed to be by itself as an open syllable. 
Since I'm not sure, I will try both sounds. A uh, corn. Hmm, that didn't sound right. Let me try a a corn. A corn. Hmm, do you see a clue in this word that tells us if the first vowel is long or short? There is an e at the end, but wait, I see double letters. Double letters usually mean a short vowel. A pull. Apple. What clue do you see here? I see an ER and just a K, no CK, so it might be long, but this I just can't be sure of, so I'm gonna try both sounds. B acker, no, B acre, baker. What clue do you see for this first vowel? After the A, there is a TH and an L. I think the TH should go with the first syllable with that A, so it's closed, and that would make the vowel short. So I think it should be athlete. Athlete. Looking for clues here, there's only an S between the two vowels, so I can't be sure if the U is short or long. Let me try both sounds. Mmm, uh, sick? No. Mmm, you sick? Music. Here, I'm looking for clues and I'm not really sure, so let me try both vowel sounds for O to see which sounds right. Clothing? Clothing. Clothing. Oh, here I see a clue. Do you? Double letters. Double letters tell me the vowel is probably short. Ladder. Ladder. We'll end with this tough one. It has two vowels. It looks like the L probably goes with the first O, making it closed in and short. So, vol. But I'm not sure if the A is short or long. Let's try it both ways. Volcano, volcano, volcano. Remember to look for clues in the spelling to see if a vowel is long or short. And if you're not sure, try both vowel sounds and see which one is right. Knowing the six types of syllables helps a lot too. The better you get at decoding words, the more fun reading is.